Bodies Are Cool came first. That's a book that I put out in 2021. And it's a children's book. We aimed it at like for preschoolers. And it's basically just showing diversity in like hopefully almost every way you can think of. And the text is just repeating over and over again that bodies are cool. So the goal is like for little kids, even if they can't read yet, to be able to look at the pictures and see all these different kinds of bodies. And there's never any one body that's singled out on a page. The pages are all lots of people kind of. When I was pitching the book, I said I wanted it to be a little bit like Where's Waldo? Obviously, it's not nearly as like meticulous as that, but where there's like lots of places that your eye can go. Because I've seen how diet culture has affected people close to me, has affected me, has affected just the world in general. And I know that there's this time when we're little before we start absorbing those messages where we think of bodies as just neutral, like, oh, my friend has curly hair and I have straight hair. Like, that's fun. And I really wanted to, like, bring that feeling home. Yeah. So then Bodtober was this little drawing challenge I made for myself in October, sort of an offshoot of Bodies Are Cool, where each day I would draw a body with a different specific physical feature. So did C-section scars and cochlear implants and cellulite and just all kinds of features and like highlighting them in a really loving way. 